Who likes easy recipes? I do, I do. Who likes needing only one ingredient for an entire recipe? Me. <laughs> well, you guys are not going to believe what I have in this video for you today. One ingredient, baby, one ingredient. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time landing on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Stasia and this channel is all about health and weight loss content following a whole food plant-based diet. Today's video is another goodie that I have for you guys. So a couple of weeks ago, I shared an oat wrap recipe that only required two ingredients and all of you guys felt just as excited about it as I did. If you haven't had a chance to see that video, I will have that posted in my description box below. Be sure to check it out because I'm telling you that is a game changer. Those wraps are super easy to whip up in your own kitchen really cost effective, oil free, super natural, super clean eating. You just can't go wrong. So be sure to check that video out. And guess what? Today's video is super similar. Quick question. You got some red lentils kicking around? If the answer is yes, then let's do this. But before we get into it, let's just talk about it for a quick second. So these one ingredient lentil wraps, they are just silly. They're so easy. I find these wraps to be quite similar to the oat wraps in the sense that they're also very flexible, they don't fall apart when you're filling them up with whatever you're filling them up with, and that they're also pretty easy to manipulate in terms of flavor. So today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the most basic way using just the one ingredient, which is just lentils only. The reason why I always want to show you guys just the baseline recipe is because everybody's taste buds are different. You know, what one person might think tastes good, the other might not. So it's always good to have a baseline for your recipe and then don't be afraid to experiment in the kitchen. Get creative, add what you think might even taste good. Just try it out. Seriously, I have nothing to lose. That is how the best of the best cooks out there come up with really great recipes. Now, if I can add my two cents on these wraps, I have tried making them by adding a clove of garlic to the recipe, just a little one, as well as a little bit of salt. And I'm telling you, they were fabulous. So if you kind of prefer more of a savory wrap and you know, want to add a few spices, don't be afraid to do that. You can throw in some garlic or even garlic powder or garlic salt onion powder. You could even throw in a little bit of paprika or oregano. Just play around with it. These wraps are really great for being versatile. These wraps are also loaded with protein as well as an easy, easy way to get those legumes in. As you guys know, I shout it from the mountaintops just how great the legume family is. And if you don't feel like eating soup or something hot, you know, we're still kind of having some warm weather. <laughs> Cold weather isn't here yet. So the wraps are a really great alternative to even just eating your lentils in a dip or a soup or anything like that. So this is just an easy way to get it in without even realizing that you're getting it in. Also, when you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, and if you are oil-free like myself, then you will know it is really, really hard to find oil-free wraps that are 100% oil-free, along with not even knowing sometimes with preservatives, and sometimes they don't even list all the preservatives. So this way, you know exactly where your food is coming from. Not to mention with all the inflation and the cost of groceries right now, and for those of you out there who are needing to feed a family, these are excellent as far as being cost effective as well. Okay, but one final note on them. All that other information is great and all, but let's be honest here. The most exciting thing about these wraps is just how darn easy they are. Feel free to make these things in advance. They can be easily frozen. I personally keep them in my refrigerator in an airtight container. They last for about three to four days for me, but definitely try it out for yourself and see what works best for you. I don't know about you, but I am so excited about these like one and two and three ingredient recipes that are just so, so stupid easy that it's like I'm actually on a quest now to keep finding them. And the more I find them, the more I'm going to share them with you guys because I don't know about you, but I just feel like a little mind blown that <laughs> these wraps and these, these super simple recipes have been at our fingertips this whole time. While many of us have struggled to go to the grocery store and find these oil free things that are super expensive, even if we are lucky enough to find them when all along we could have just been whipping them up in our kitchen. So I am definitely going to keep hunting and I will share whatever I find. 
So if it's your first time here and you are also following a whole food plant-based diet, then be sure to stick around my channel by hitting that subscribe button. My channel has tons of what I eat in a day videos, tons of recipes like today's video, and also videos where I share my story about my own personal health and weight loss journey following a whole food plant-based diet. So be sure to stick around, check out some of my other videos. I'm certain you will find something helpful. But for now, let's go make some magic. Okay, so all you need to do is wash and rinse one cup of red lentils, and then you're going to add two cups of fresh water to a container and let the red lentils soak. I soaked mine overnight, and then you just add it to the blender and blend it until it's smooth. After that, I like to let it sit for about 10 minutes or so just to thicken up a little bit. While the batter is thickening, have your stove top set to medium heat. And then you're gonna pour your batter into the pan. Now it's totally up to you how big or small you want these wraps to be. As you can see, this one is a fairly large size, but it doesn't have to be that big. Be sure to cook each side for roughly about two to three minutes before trying to flip. And that's it. That's how easy this recipe is. They are soft, chewy, and flexible. Be sure to keep watching the video though because I do end up sharing my personal suggestions on what to do and what not to do as they can be a tad bit finicky. And all I'm doing here is throwing some of my oil-free hummus and some veggies on the wrap. Super, super simple. Okay guys, that's it. We are all done. Look at this beauty. Just craziness, right? <laughs> okay, so a few things worth noting that I want to point out, especially for those of you who have already tried the oat wraps, I just wanna make a few pointers as to the difference between the oat wraps and these one ingredient lentil wraps. So the first being is that the lentil wraps are a wee bit of a snob and a lot less forgiving than the oat wraps. But that's okay, we still love you too. <laughs> okay, so you want to be sure that your pan is not too hot and also not hot enough. So with that being said, make sure your pan is set to medium heat. I have tried these things on medium high heat and medium low heat and it was just a hot mess. So it's very temperamental. You want it to be on exactly medium heat. Again, everybody's stove is different, so you might have to experiment on your stove, but for mine, it was right down the middle, number five, medium heat. The other thing that I wanna mention is that you need to be sure to let these things cook long enough on each side before even attempting to flip them. This is where the snobbiness I was talking about comes in. So they are very, very finicky. I feel like the oat wraps are just so easy, a lot more forgiving. You can flip them, no problem. These princesses, they require a little bit more time and a little bit more patience. So you just wanna start by sticking your spatula under the pan and kind of just lifting those edges first. And then I always find that the middle cooks the longest. So get those edges kind of lifted up on the sides and then give it a few more seconds or even up to a minute to let that middle kind of harden up a little bit more before you try flipping the whole thing. You also wanna be sure to cook it for the right amount of time. So on my stove, I cook them for probably two to two and a half, maybe even three minutes on each side. But if they get too well done, then you're gonna end up with more of a crispy wrap rather than the nice foldable, flexible wrap that we're looking for. Now, those are just a few personal tips of mine to hopefully make your experience a lot easier the first time around. As you can see, it's holding up really, really well. It's really soft and flexible there. So let's give her a try and see what happens. She is worth every bit of her finicky behaviors. <laughs> and I just wanna point out that there was nothing added to these lentils, not even a sprinkle of salt, nothing was added and it still tastes delicious. It's actually quite mild tasting compared to what you might think the lentils would taste like. It's really good. So I can only imagine what you could do with these by adding more spices and more flavor. So this is another winner, guys. This is another winner. All right, so that's everything for today's video. If you end up trying these lentil wraps and you've tried the oat wraps, then be sure to leave it in the comments. Let me know which one you like better. I'm gonna say that they're pretty equal in my books, just considering they're similar in texture and they both have quite a mild taste. So yeah, this one's a really hard one. If you're loving these ridiculously easy recipes and you wanna see more of these, then drop that in the comments for me too, because like I said, 
I am on the hunt for myself. So if you guys really want to see more videos like today's, let me know and I will be sure to continue sharing. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around for more health and weight loss content following a whole food plant-based diet. Thank you so much everyone for watching and we will see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.